So, hey guys, we are here again to give you guys an update about another project that we do. And here's the slot machine project for the microcontroller class. And it took about three of three months, I guess, for us to build it from scratch, from cutting the wood to the finished product like this one. It's not by any means perfect, but it's the best that we can do in such a short amount of time. And George will explain to you the rules and how to play the machine. Okay, George, can you explain to us how does the machine works? Um, so, let's start to explain the rule. And here, let's look behind on here. And here is the coin box. And here the light is to tell you that if you can play the game. So now it's uh, red. red, so it means that you still have no coins in it, so you can, you still can play, can play the game. And now you need a coin, a coin one which is dollars. one NT in this case. And throw it into the coin box, and you can see the LED change it. Yep, it will change color if the it, it detects some coin. Mm -hmm. So if it is green, that means you, you, you are good to go. And now you push the bar in here. Push it and see. And the yep. disc will start rotating. And now you hand all of things to the machine. The machine will uh, pick up randomly, which picture will stop one by one. So now Apple. Uh, hope we get another Apple. <laughs> yep. So basically, if the machine stops at Apple, it will get some points. Uh, watermelon, some points, and there's a special case with the picket where where it will de decrease the score that you had right now. Yeah. The score will be displayed by using this seven segment, and if you reach the number bigger than nine, or in this case ten, you will win the game. And yeah. every 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 coin in the coin box will drop out, and you can take your coin. Yeah, as you can see that we lose. <laughs> We got two apples and one watermelon. So we are not lucky yeah, enough. We, we, you need to get three same pictures to get the, the, the score. So, so can you tell us what score do we get for each picture? <laughs> so this is jackpot. This, if you win this in three, sev uh, three seven. In three slots? Yeah, you will immediately get ten, ten, points. ten points. So the machine will give you the money back. Uh, the, all the money in the coin box. Yep. And if you get apple and watermelon, you will get three coin, uh, three coins, and you will update here. So if you get one, then uh, you get three watermelon. Then here will change to three, and you get it again, you change it to six, and so on. And apple is three points two, and the pig is minus one. The joker. It's is the minus joker. Is minus yeah. one. If you are score is higher than zero then you will minus one point to you yes yeah. and then for the next part we'll explain to you the hardware behind it and it's a little bit messy but we'll walk you through so we'll now do the hardware behind it and george can you please guide us through so uh, uh, the flow chart for the hardware is that the first one when you throw the coin into the coin box, then your coin is basically stored in here. Yep, that's the coin box. Yes, and now if you throw the coin in, you are able to push the, the, the bar in here. So here's the bar. Here's the bar. The lever. Yeah, yep. and here is the switch. So you push the bar, you, you pull the bar, you will touch the the button yeah. and the process will start. And here is the board to control all the motors in here. And this is basically its circuit in here. Every circuit to control the motor is in here. Yeah. And here is the chip. <laughs> yes, that's the microchip that yeah. was provided by the lab and we need to use it to control it. Yes. And when you get some score here is to control the seven segment to show the numbers on, on it. And when you get 10 points, then 
the board in here will control this servo to open open the door and uh, no yep. yeah if we got money in here you got money in here then you will drop yep, the money it will off. drop the coin yes so basically here's the chip to control and detect the input here is another chip to receive this the song signal i hope you can hear the song is it will receive the song signal from the board uh, yep that's <laughs> the song and it will amplify it to the speaker and here's the module to control the servo and the eh, no no the stepper and the servo too yeah oh and the servo too <laughs> and you might be wondering why we don't use any printed circuit board and we use breadboard all the place and it is because that this board it is provided by the, by the lab and it is designed to be plugged into a breadboard. Yes, so already already yep. sold on the yep. on the PVC board. So. so we don't have much choice, and then we still <laughs> use another breadboard. Yeah, yeah. it is. It's kind of messy. There's strings and wires everywhere, but at least it work. <laughs> yep, it work, it works. and we work pretty hard for it. And especially the the wooden case. We spend a lot of time to cut it to size and it's not perfect by any means. It's our first woodworking job but we are pretty proud proud, proud by it. So guys, that's it for our final project. Actually this is a group project and it consists of four people but the other two has some class so they, they cannot come. And I hope you guys like it and if you have any comments you can leave it down the comment section down below and if you have any suggestion feel free to contact us and see you guys in the next project. Bye bye. So guys if you are wondering what is the sound of winning, I mean you got seven in a row and it will be like this. Yep, <laughs> that's the joy of winning. <laughs> a slot machine game. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good and that is your money for your dinner today. <laughs>